There's a new tribe taking over children's books. The Neon Tiki Tribe is a new group of superheroes. This series of 13 books is not just about telling stories of good versus evil. It's also about educating kids through fun stories. And they're getting results through some valuable lessons for kids and families. And New 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona spoke with one of the co-creators and tells us what kind of issues these books tackle. We say to truly change the world, we have to stop uh, spending all of our time trying to change the habits of adults. And we have to start with kids younger age and start planting really good messages with them. Greg Devlin is planting messages of hope, good advice, honesty, and positive body image with a series of 13 children's books, The Neon Tiki Tribe. There's a kid named Greg mm -hmm. and his dog Sniff Sniff. And then Zeke's the leader, Tia, the girl's the smartest in the group. They're the good guys. They battle from episode to episode this guy named Sam Selfish and the evil Koo Tiki tribe. An idea that began back in the 90s. So one day, I had this really fat trunk cabbage palm. Mm -hmm. And I thought, just for fun, I wanted to take a chainsaw and carve a face into this thing. It ended up being a tiki. I took the tiki and I spray painted it bright neon colors. I put these big pair of sunglasses on it. But it wasn't until last December that his Tiki became the main character of his children's books. It's been a long journey, but it's been very exciting because of what this represents to children, their families. What we wanted to do is give kids action and excitement in storylines, but when they were done reading the story, it was a valuable lesson, a message was in there. Uh, for them and their parents to talk about. A uh, few of our books in the series can actually save children's lives. One of them is Stranger Danger, which is about uh, actually strangers not getting in a car with someone you don't know. Or the Gigabytes of Disaster, which deals with internet safety. This book was suggested by two separate librarians. They said there are no books out there that tell them not to give out a home address or not to meet a stranger from off the internet. His vision is for everyone to have access to the Neon Tiki Tribe. It was a beautiful day on Tiki Island. All of these are free on YouTube or on our Facebook page. And they're even in English and Spanish language right now. Cunaros era el más grande, el más poderoso de todos los cutiquis. Whether it's about bullying, sportsmanship, or keeping the ocean clean, he says at the core of these books is the significance of what Tiki stands for. I wanted to make this about children, their families, and society as a whole. That's what I want this to represent. I want this to represent all races and all creeds and all religions. So the word Tiki means thoughtful, intelligent, kind individual. And our feelings are if there were more thoughtful, intelligent, kind individuals in the world, this would be a great place, right? Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. I love that old picture of him standing next to the tiki yeah. that he dressed up. That's adorable, <laughs> the inspiration. Well, those books are available on Amazon.